for the wife. Make the happy wife just a little bit happier. Good morning, Janet. And Janet babies. morning. You gonna be a good boy today? Take care of this crew? Huh? Keep them all safe? Teach them the ways of the chicken? Okay, we're finishing up the first part of the fence. And we were we are going to finish today. Yay! We already got the gate up. Now we just gotta go finish these. And piece by piece. But we've done the small one, so we know how to do the, this section now. That's what you think? Yes. Okay. Yes. Got the fence up. Redid the corner. Got it all the way down now. You put a sign on. And yes, I put a sign on. Our neighbor gave us a sign because she, she loves us, our chickens, as much as we love our chickens. So... She gave us a sign, so I put it on her side. Because <laughs> I have a feeling she'd just let them into your her yard if she could. I did a little coop maintenance with the watering system. We used this last year, but haven't used it in the summer because it was really leaky. So it sits on a the table, then water flows down through a pipe and into their watering tube so the modification was rerouting the pipes and adding these little cups so the cups the way they're supposed to work is they have water and then when they push these little yellow levers then uh, water comes out we also came in with the tiller and just tilled everything under so they sit up here at night, they boop, and it just falls down here, and then when we, when we till, it just mixes it all together so it composts and uh, keeps the smell down. I just found something else you did. You found something I did? What did I do? You replaced this. This was starting to really tick me off here. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, that was awful. Made you a better latch. Yes. One that I can actually use these little things on. So, I don't think I got any below here. No, nope, nothing below there. Oh, no, she just she just made an egg. Got she a bird was, in a box. She was she oh, was doing the girl. squatting. So she just made an egg, and this one with the pretty pretty big eyes. She just laid her egg, but she's sitting on two others. Aren't mm. you, pretty girl? Doing the morning rounds. These are the meat birds. They are hungry this morning. They, their butcher day is September the 16th. So we've got about what, three weeks. And I'm happy with the size. Good morning, turkeys. Good morning, turkeys. Oh, you guys are having a good time, aren't you? I brought more food, look. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Hey, Rockstar. Those your babies. So cute. A couple weeks old now. You just saying good morning. How are you? I just wanted to get a close up of you. I don't think I highlighted these guys last week. This is our fourth and last batch of meat chickens for this year. We have 43. And they are all doing very well. 
They will be turned into food in October. I'm not sure the exact date. I think it's the 18th. It's on a Saturday. So if you want to come watch, we always invite the public. And if you would like to have one of these in your belly, just let us know. And stock up for the winter. Again, this will be the last batch of the season. We won't have any, any more meat until... Oh, probably May of next year. Okay. Late breakfast. Uh, that's vegetables. Good luck. And this is old moldy chicken. You'll love this. And finally, I think some old watermelon. You'll like that. And a cat. Lucy. How you doing, little girl? What are you doing up here? What are you doing up here? Trying to get hugged? Come here, I'll hug you. Come here. What do you think, Lucy? You want some chicken too? All right, Sunday, we're doing a little processing. These are all peppers. They're hot peppers. And this came from the <laughs> trash, really, from the farmer's market that folks were throwing away. These are jalapenos. They're in the dehydrator. And we just cut them up, dehydrate them, and then I put them in a jar. We eat them all year long. Delicious. You heard my voice and you knew I was here? Yeah, you guys are like big puppy dogs, aren't you? Oh my, look at you, big puppy. Yeah. We also have an apple peeling machine. Got this at a thrift store. Very old school. Yeah, it's made by uh, Peel X, New York City. Uh, I have no idea how old it is. I know it's solidly built and it works great. Turn a handle, peels an apple. Ta da! Huh. And you push the button, and it resets. And then you got chicken food. Yes. And you put another apple on. Hand power. Hit the button. There you go, just like that. We're in business. This is gonna be this is gonna be applesauce. I'm gonna make some applesauce today because I like applesauce and it's very tasty. Mm, cooking up the apples. That is one five-gallon bucket right there. Very nice. What are you making? Well, this is gonna be applesauce. Mm. So I'm getting ready to blend it up and then we'll add seasonings. And this is doing really well. This is almost reduced completely by half now. What'd you make it? This is just tomato sauce. Very nice. And that's the water we normally throw out. We started saving it. Reducing it down, it makes a great tomato sauce. It's very simple. There's nothing other than tomatoes that are in there. So we're putting the applesauce in the jars. It already tastes good, as we sampled. So, it's half Splenda, half sugar. Okay, so it's all done, and it is uh, getting uh, sealed here. We did it in the microwave. Um, 
my husband requested that even though it's all sauce, that on the apples I at least put a sauce because, you know, you might not be able to tell the difference between the tomato and, and the apple. Tomato, apple. Happy wife. <laughs> <laughs> this is Biddy. We cracked a couple of eggs and cooked them. She's been going through molting, so I let her inside this fence so she could have the eggs and the shells, help with her feather regeneration. And you can see the crowd that she has, has assembled that would all oh, like a bite. Oh, and they, they're still coming too. Oh yeah. They don't know what's up, but they know something's up. Everybody's doing the, uh, there's food over here sound. So she is special right now. She is special always. Don't, oh. don't lie to the public. Oh, okay. She's always been your special girl. Yes, yeah, she has. Okay, you finish up what's here. And I'll give this to these girls. I guess who's first in line? Amber. Buried right up under there. Little Miss Snack Girl. Hey, don't break my bowl. So that's the weekend. We got the chicken water cups done. 